Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 13. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to represent the quotient as the number of groups or the number of objects in a group. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can draw a tape diagram to represent a division problem and write an equation to solve. Three students equally share a pack of 12 pencils. How many pencils does each student get? Three students equally share a pack of 12 pencils. How many pencils does each student get? So this is a tape diagram that has three boxes. The three boxes represent the students. It has a label at the bottom. The 12 represents how many pencils in all. So what do we want to know? We want to know how many pencils each student Let's give count by threes until we get to 12. Ready? Three, six, nine, 12. We have four pencils in each box. So if three students equally share a pack of 12 pencils, each student gets four because 12 divided by three equals four. There are 12 erasers and each classroom gets three erasers. How many classrooms get erasers? The 12 represents the total number of erasers. The three represents how many erasers one class gets. What does the box represent? Each box is one classroom. So we still want to know how many classrooms there should be. Let's give count by threes until we get to 12. Ready? Three, six, nine, 12. There are 12 erasers and each classroom gets three erasers. So there are four classrooms because 12 divided by four equals three. Four is the number of groups. Three is how many in each group. And the 12 is how many in all. Draw and label the tape diagram. How many in each group? How many groups? How many in all? So we don't know how many are in all, but we do know how many are in each group and how many groups there are. So we can label that there are five in each group and we can write that there are three groups. So this would be the divisor. We don't know how many there are in all. So we cannot label the bottom number. However, 
if we go ahead and put an equal number in each box, we can say that there are 5, 10, 15 in all. And now we can label the bottom number. So this bracket stretches across the bar diagram. We have 5, 10, 15. So our label is 15. This is what the corresponding division equation would look like. We start with the biggest number, which is how many in all? That's 15. We divide it by the number of groups, which is three. The quotient is how many are in one group, and that is five. Okay, let's use those skills with our read, draw, write question. We're going to read and annotate the question. We're going to draw a picture to solve the problem. And then finally, we're going to write sentences to explain our answer. So this is one that we'll do together. You're going to need paper and pencil or a dry erase board, or you can work on a Google Jamboard, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you need to pause the video to get materials, now would be a good time. All right. I'm going to read the question first and annotate it. So I need my pen tool ready. Uncle Jack brings three fishing poles to the river. This is a number in math. Numbers are always important. Three fishing poles. He catches an equal number of fish with each pole. Equal number of fish with each pole. So each pole is a group, right? So we need to know how many fish for each pole. How many does he catch with each pole? If he catches 12 fish in all, how many fish does he catch with each pole? Draw and label a tape diagram and write a division equation to solve. Okay, I'm going to my Google Jamboard. If you have access to Google, you can do this with me by typing jamboard.google.com. If you need a link, look in the description box below. I'm clicking the plus sign to open a new Jamboard. And I'm clicking the pen tool and choosing a color. I'm going back to my question now. I want to be very precise about the information I'm using, so I'm double checking. Three fishing poles, equal number of fish with each pole, 12 fish in all. So I know that there are three groups. I know there are 12 in all. I need to know how many in each group. So I have the 12 at the bottom. And I have three groups, right? What I don't know, how many in each. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in each box and make equal numbers of groups and until I get to 12 and see what I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, now I can see that I have four, e four X's or four fish for each group or each pole. So four. These are my number of poles. It's three, right? Let's go back to the question and make sure we've used the correct information. 
12 fish in all, three fishing poles. How many fish does he catch with each pole? We said four. Draw and label a tape diagram, which I've done. Oh, write a division equation to solve. So that's my next step. So in a division equation, we start with how many in all? And we divide by the number of groups. So in this case, the number of boxes is three. Equals the quotient, and that is how many in each group. We said that there are four in each group. So my division equation is 12 divided by three equals four. Okay, let's go back to our question one more time and make sure that we use words from the question in our answer. How many fish does he catch with each pole? Uncle Jack catches four fish with each pole. Uncle Jack catches four fish with each pole. I found that 12 divided by 3 equals 4. All right. So I've got my tape diagram, I've got my division equation, and now I have my sense. Uncle Jack catches four fish with each pole. I found that 12 divided by three equals four. Let's check our answer. Answer, Uncle Jack catches four fish with each pole. I solved 12 divided by 3 equals 4. We did it. Okay, now it's your turn to solve a read, draw, write question on your own. So this is the question. I'm going to read it for you. When I'm finished, you can pause the video and read it again to yourself. You'll want to find the important information, and then you'll draw a math model to help you solve the equation. And we've been working with tape diagrams, so maybe you want to try a tape diagram. If it tells you a specific model to draw, you definitely need to include that. Finally, the last step is to write your sentence, which tells exactly what the answer is, including words from the question, and it explains how you arrived at your answer. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Austin has 18 dog treats. He gives three treats to each of his dogs. How many dogs does Austin have? Draw and label a tape diagram and write a division equation to solve. Okay, go do your very best. And when you think you're ready, look in the description box below and you'll find the correct answer. Remember, your words don't have to match mine exactly. Just do your very best, write the best sentences you possibly can, and I'll see you in the next video.